Hi there, it's Catherine Ruddick here, uh, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne in Australia. Um, and I've got a project to show you, a finished one. And I know that some of you have been waiting to see it. Um, this is a project that I started working on um, about a week ago, last Saturday week ago. Um, I was just getting together with a couple of stamping friends for the sake of actually just stamping. It's the first time in a very long time that I wasn't frantically making cards for a class or an event or for our kiosk at the shopping centre. Um, this was a, a let's just bring stuff and stamp and make things, um, which was delightful. Um, and the day before, when I was thinking about, oh, what can I, what can I work on? What can I make? Um, I saw a really gorgeous um, mini album with a concertina spine and um, pockets with pull-out tabs. I saw beautiful photos on Instagram. Um, now, the demonstrator who did this was Connie Richter in Germany. Um, her Instagram face is something along the lines of um, Stempelick, which is a, obviously a German word. Um, what I'll do is after I do this Facebook Live and save it, I will pop a link in the comments to her Instagram um, photos where she put the album because she used um, – the cute animal paper that's in our annual catalogue with the, the paper that's got the kangaroo and the wombat and the crocodiles and the platypus and the sloths, that really cute, bright animal paper. She used that and it was gorgeous. Um, hi, Catherine in Sydney. How are you going? Gorgeous. Lovely to see you. Um, so she used that beautiful paper and I was thinking, oh, I'm just going to copy her project completely. But then I was thinking, no, no, I really want to do something with the holiday catalogue. And so luckily my team had done product shares with the papers and the ribbons. And so I looked through all of the 6 by 12 inch half sheets of paper that I received in the product shares. And I had the Santa's Workshop paper. And I'd also ordered for myself a box of the Santa's Workshop memory, memories and more um, project cards and I thought those, those images are so cute and everything that I keep seeing online using those products is so cute I might I'll take her I'll take Connie's beautiful album idea and I'll turn it into a Santa's workshop one so that's what I've done and those of you who follow me on Instagram or even have been following me on my business page here will have seen some of the early photos the step by step so I started with the cover um, I actually found two pieces of backing cardboard that were uh, they were 11 centimeters by about 15 and a half centimeters now Connie's album was 9.5 by 9.5 and I looked at those two pieces of cardboard and you, um, went, you know what, I'm so lazy. I'm not going to cut it down to 9.5. I'm going to leave it at 11. Um, so then I only, with my steel ruler and my craft knife, I only had to make one cut instead of having to make it, you know, cut it down to 9.5. So my album was going to be 11 centimetres by 11 centimetres. And that meant that one of the pieces that I cut off was actually the right width for the spine. So I had the three pieces. That was really simple and easy. Um, I selected one of the sheets of the designer series paper to be the cover of the album. So I used the whole um, 12 inch wide by six inch deep. I placed the three pieces of the thick card onto the, the paper with a little gap in between the pieces to, to allow the hinges to fold. Um, and then wrapped it around like I was decorating a, or covering a school book. You know how your mums, you know how to do that. Um, and I did the concertina with the whisper white, thin whisper white card. Just score it half a centimetre, score it one centimetre, score it one centimetre, score it half a centimetre, blah, 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 for six for six concertinas. Um, and again, you will have seen, um, if you scroll down through my Facebook posts, you'll see the photos of the concertina fold before I've stuck the pages in the album and you'll see the cover. So then I 
the next step I actually made the pocket pages to slot onto the concertina cover I cut out a stack of the little images that's the designer series paper oh, and you can pick up from there hi Felicity you can actually pick up see the little white dots you can see the shadow so it's the paper is flocked you can actually see the the crown there around the top of the hat you can see the shadow underneath so it's it's a beautiful flocked velvety finish paper and the framelets these are the the Santa's sign oh you can't see them very well in the packet the Santa's signpost framelets actually cut out all of those large pieces so it doesn't cut out the candy cane or the cookies or the bow but it cuts out the wagon the three gifts the two different elves one facing right one facing left the mrs claus and the signpost they're all in the packet of framelits which is so cool and and again if um if you do follow me on instagram you'll see a photo i've got the big shot with the platform there with the piece of paper on it and i've got all the framelits lined up on the paper so i ran it through once you can cut five or six images with one roll through of the big shot it's it's such a time saver i'm gone are the days of snip 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 all those little pieces so absolutely love it so so i cut out a stack of those um then there's another sheet of paper which has santa clauses with the the big sack of toys and the sleigh and some some of those images also cut out with the framelits but some of them i had to fussy cut um but i also used the um, the layering ovals framelits and the stitched shape framelits. So I cut out some of them as circles and ovals as well. And you'll see some of them in the album. So, so I put together the pocket pages. I cut up some coordinating designer series paper. I then used the memories and more cards. And these are just beautiful. And again, some of them are flocked. Um, and some of them have... Oh, can't even get them out of the packet. Some of them have glitter on them. I'm just going to... They're so bright and cheerful. I don't know if I'm really, I'm doing a really shocking job at this. But they're just, um, they're just gorgeous designs. Where's one? Look at this. Look. Lovely designs. Cute little elf... Oops, he's got a nice bow on the back. They're beautiful. And they, they're great for like little journaling tags. Look at this one. This I love this. This is so Dr. Seuss. Look at that. It's really sort of cat in the hat stuff. Um, or if I bring it in too close. Um, it's got the lovely snowflakey things there. That's just gorgeous. And in that packet of memories and more cards, there's also the cardstock quality die cut stickers and you can see I used a few of them um, off those you can see which ones are missing oh, and then these ones have got oh, I don't know if I can get the light to, to pick it up see how they've got the dazzling yeah the dazzling diamond this sort of finish they're so lovely so I used them to decorate the album as well all right so here it is Thanks, Debbie. Yes, isn't it? Isn't it amazing? So here's the album. So it, the front cover is 11 centimeters by 11 centimeters. The spine is um, four and a half centimeters. And I've used the Poppy Parade ribbon for the tie on the inside front cover and the inside back cover. I've used that beautiful flocked striped paper from the specialty dsp and obviously i've popped a a memory some more card into the pocket for some journaling so they're really they're really good so they're they're folded folded under and the folds are stuck with the tombow mono liquid glue because i find that's the best when you're making albums 
if you use double-sided tape, your fold-out pieces or your lift-out pieces stick to the double-sided tape, but if you use the glue, they don't. Um, so that's what I've used. Okay, so here's the first the first page, and uh, naughty or nice. So you can see I've used one of the memories and more cards there, and the papers that I've used are out of our six by six paper stacks of each of the colour families. And then I've used that round tab punch to make a little tab for the slide out tab. Oh, and of course, you're going to get the writing upside down. But again, there's another memories and more card um, mounted onto garden green cardstock which is that one, page two. Oh, and you can see that lovely, um, the flocking on the Santa and the beautiful dazzling diamonds. Oh, the light is so bad in here. You can see the dazzling diamonds on the candy cane and the lovely flocking on the Santa. And again, the same with the designer series paper for a tab and a pull out. Oh, this one's tighter. And again, this one's just a really really simple uh, memories of more card it's got some lines there for journaling on and I've used one of those die cut stick on um shape oh get it to focus <laughs> sorry I make you seasick there um that's out of that memories of more card as well those those pre-cut um pre-cut stickers oh go back in let me just put it down because I need two hands to pop it back in. It's ever so slightly tight fit. Okay, page three. This is a really fun page. The lovely Santa sleigh. Now that one is fussy cut, but it's layered onto um, a whisper white oval that's cut with the layering ovals and then the garden green um, dotted pattern DSP from the paper stack. The tag again is another memories and more card with a little holly on the top somebody asked me what's the album for and I'm, I'm a shocker it's like who cares <laughs> it's cute and it shows off the products who cares what it's for you can use it I mean you might be somebody who has a zillion baby photos and you know how people take really cute photos of their babies with Santa hats on for baby's first Christmas maybe you're one of those people who's got a series of those kind of photos that you can cut down to size and stick in here and give it to grandma or even great grandma as a Christmas present here's here's a memento of baby's first Christmas maybe Oh, thanks, Deb. Debbie says my fussy, fussy cutting's awesome. Do you reckon? Uh, should I give you a close-up look? It's just cutting. And see, see up here, I have not gone around the whole spiral. I've just cut across. <laughs> so yeah, quick and easy, quick and easy. That's the rule. Um, but you so you you if you're a real Christmas fanatic and you want your, all your Christmas lists and all your Christmas engagements, do you go to a million different Christmas parties or pre-Christmas barbecues all through December or your, your gift list, whatever, use those, use those journaling cards. Make it, make the book work. Use it, have it in your handbag. Use it all the time because it's tiny so it'll fit in your handbag. Use it as your, as your December planner or like I say, Fill it with little photos of baby's first Christmas and give it to someone as a gift. Doesn't doesn't matter what it's for. It's cute and it shows off the gorgeous products. Okay, this one December and again it's got um oh I don't know if you can see there's the fine lines on the memories and more cards so that you can write stuff on there. So it's perfect for your Christmas shopping list for those people that are really hard to buy for that you haven't bought for during the year. Another really fun page with the garden green. It's an elf thing. And so, of course, there has to be an elf in the pocket, doesn't there? And there he is. And I've added one of those die-cut holly leaves from the cards as well on there. That um, the grey is the grey granite. When you look at the back of the packet of designer series paper, it doesn't list grey granite as one of the colours in the paper. But the shadows... Um, that are on some of those images. If you look at the, like for example, at the rocking horse on the cover, 
to me that looks like grey granite so I've chosen to do a page in here that's grey granite um, the last page is one that oh actually I'm gonna go right back to the start because I oh, where, which page was it the third page with the signpost can you see on the red I've actually stamped that Christmas tree from lovely as a tree on the red background it's poppy parade and I've stamped it with poppy parade ink just to break up that red panel I've stamped it and then stamped it off so it's stamped three times on there you might not be able to see it on the last page I wanted to break up the red background so I stamped it with dots and it was only after I stamped it that I went oh no I've stamped it with real red instead of poppy parade and it's to me it's just ever so slightly dark but you know what it's a project and there's no mistakes in card making. There's only room for design improvement. So it's not a mistake. It's meant to be blotchy. <laughs> um, again, there's that design series paper. It's cut out with this stitched shape, framelits, crushed curry behind it. And that piece of paper just absolutely lent itself to just cutting out strips of rectangles because those little elves are so cute. And again, you can pick up the flocking on the on the gift gosh I love that flocked paper it's so luxurious with that sort of velvet feel here's the tab the tab has got the elf with the little train and a bit of scallop border across the top so again plenty of space to write or to stick little mini photos and then of course the the back of the book as well so um, side on or oh, I'll go this way so the pages sort of sit in the spine like so a bit hard to tell anyway it was actually a really really easy project to do and like I started it last Saturday um, I probably spent maybe two hours farting around um, just doing the cover and the concertina spine and then during the week I seriously have maybe spent two or three times I've gone out to my stamping room and spent five or ten minutes just cutting pieces of DSP um, and I, maybe I spent an hour running all the things through the big shot because because I actually I cut out tons I cut out every piece of paper that's that's basically all I've got left of the DSP I cut out heaps so I'm going to be making cards with these for ages um, so it, even though it, it looks complicated it probably in total it probably only took three hours to make and the longest part was just holding the pockets onto the spine tabs long enough for the Tombow mono glue to to grab hold and set I like to hold it for about a minute on each one um, so I did that so so yeah it, it was fun and it was cute and probably now I've got to find someone to give it to <laughs> um, because I don't really write Christmas lists myself. But, you know, I'll, I'll pop it amongst my displays for customers to look at. Um, next time we're back at our kiosk at Chenside Park Shopping Centre, they can all flick through and, you know, hopefully they'll fall in love with the paper and the cards and the framelits. Who knows? Um, it's, it's, a fun, it's a fun project. It's something that kids would love to make. And it is actually easy enough. Because you're really only cutting rectangles and squares as well as the, the pieces that are cut with the framelits. So there's no colouring in. There's only that one piece that was fussy cut. It's really easy. You, yeah, it's a, it's a good one to do. So um, yeah, so by all means, um, scroll down my posts and have a look at the sort of the other photos, which were a bit step by step. Um, I had tried to put it on my blog today, but I had no end of issues with the internet today. So the blog post is not there. Um, but hopefully I will get to do that sometime. And, um, and you can have a closer look at some of those steps. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks, Felicity and Debbie as well. And, uh, well, if I don't see you girls online soon, hopefully I'll see some of you at on stage in November which is coming up so fast I can't believe it and uh, yeah go out and create something and have fun and just create it for the sake of creating it and, and enjoy the process all right have a good night take care talk soon bye